This time, let's go with the written examination preparation, particularly on numerical reasoning. So, we will use this MSA Career Service Firm Reviewer for our preparation for civil service, neuro, um, APSAT, um, licensure exam, entry level exam, qualifying examination, NAPLCOM. So, we will use these problems here from this reviewer as pattern of our preparation. So, let's begin. ABC Corporation reported at the beginning of 2005 that it had a balance of 3,566.2 million. That's the very beginning balance. So we have that. For the, for the given year, for 2005, its net income was 456.7 million. So for 2005, um, we will add it with the net income because the net income already um, 456.7 it is already with subtracted already with liabilities and expenses of the company then um, the company paid a total of 234.6 million for dividend so therefore um, 3,000 3,000 um, 566.2 million will be added with 456,000 uh, 456.7 million and subtract it with the payment of um, 234.6 million for dividends to their stockholders so now the question is what was the bit balance of ABC Corporation at the end of 2005 so first the very beginning balance is 3566.2 million add it with 456.7 million then we will subtract the the company um, paying its dividends to its stockholders of worth of 234.6 million. So what is now the new balance at the end of the year? 2005. Is it 3,788,300,000? Number two, it's 3,788,300,000. Number three, 378,830. And number four, 37,883. And number five, it's 3,788.30. So let's determine what's the answer. Number one, it's three billion seven hundred eighty-eight thousand million three hundred thousand. Why? The very beginning balance of ABC Corporation was three thousand five hundred sixty-six sixty-six point two million. Income for the year it's four hundred fifty-six point seven million. The amount paid for the the amount the amount corporation of the amount the corporation should pay for dividends is 234.6 million to get the remaining balance all we need to do is to add the beginning the balance at the beginning of the year which is 3566.2 million plus 456.7 million subtract it with um, 234 so now it becomes um three 3,788.3 million. So, it's million, not not billion, okay? It's million. So, that's, that's it. The, be the beginning balance, add it with the income for that year. Then, subtract the dividend to be paid to their stockholders, so which is 234. The answer is 3,788.3 million. Next. Last year, 154 employees of MSA manufacturing firm retired. Okay, 154 employees retired already last year. The firm hired 248 new employees. If there were 845 employees in the factory at the end of that year, how many were at the beginning? How many were at the beginning? Okay, so first, the given are 154 employees um, retired last year okay the firm hired 248 new employees so there are more new employees compared to the retiring employees if there were 845 employees in the factory at the end of that year so how many were at the beginning so it means to say the 154 um, was retired then um, add it with 248 
if there were 845 employees at the end of that year, so in that year, 845 subtract it with 154 employees. Oh. So, if there were oh, 845 employees in the, in the factory at the end of that year, how many were at the beginning of the next year? So, 845, 845 employees subtract it with 154 employees and add it with 248 new employees then let's see what the answer is it 1 443 6 number 2 645 number 3 751 and number 4 1239 and last it's 1247 so we will just subtract 154 with 845 and add it with 248 let's see what's the, the example the answer answer is number three 751 how let x be the number of employees at the end of the year yes we do not know so let let x be the number of the employees at the beginning of the year number of employees who retired it's 154 the number of newly hired employees it's 248 the total number of employees by the end of the year it's 845 so now okay so therefore let x be the beginning of the year so subtract it with 154 and add it with 248 newly hired employees so that is equals now to 845 so simplify the equation it becomes negative 154 plus 248 since um different sign negative 154 and positive 248 we will subtract we will subtract and copy the sign of the biggest number so subtract 154 minus 248 it's 94 why is it positive we because we will get the sign of the biggest number which is the biggest number 248 or 154 obviously it's 248 positive 248 so therefore it becomes positive 94 so next now transpose this 94 to the other side so it becomes x leaving x then transposing 94 to the other side together with with 845 so it becomes 845 minus 845 minus 94 845 minus 94 then our x is equals to 751 so therefore um, at the beginning of the year there are 751 employees again from 200 from 845 minus it with the retiring employees which is 154 add it with 248 employees it will give us 751 employees let's proceed Marian wrote a check worth 600, uh, 6,548 pesos yesterday. However, this showed an overdraft of 1,350 on her account the next day. Overdraft. How much did she have in, in her account before she wrote the check? Before she wrote the check. Again. How much did she have in her account before she wrote the check? If we say overdraft, it's the act of overdrawing. It means to say excess. Excess. So instead, if you have 5,000 5, in your bank account, 5,000 pesos in your bank account, and you draw a check of 6,000 pesos. So what is the overdraft there? The overdraft is 1,000 pesos. You are exceeding your original account, in which your original account is 5,000 pesos only, but you draw a check to withdraw it on the drawing, in the drawer, drawing back. So it's an excess of 1,000 pesos because you, you have only 5,000, but you are um, withdrawing from the bank of 6,000 so where will you get this 1,000 pesos so that, that is an overdraft so now um, however this showed in an overdraft of 1,350 pesos on her account 
the next day how much did how much did she have in her account before she wrote the check so simply we will just subtract um, 6547 pesos with 1350 pesos so the difference is the answer is it 4197 um, 5,197, 5,197, 7,890, and um, 7,890. So, obviously, our answer is 1, 4,197. But let's check. Okay, it's number 3. It's 3, 5,197. Okay. It's 5,197. Why? An overdraft, the definition of overdraft is a deficit in a bank account caused by drawing more money than what the account holds. So it means to say drawing more money than what the account holds. So there is now deficit. Kulang. You have only 5,000 pesos. Example, 5,000 pesos only from your account. Can you draw a check? worth of 6,000 pesos so there is an overdraft where will you get this 1,000 pesos so that is it's the concept of overdraft so the amount of the check issued is 6,547 and overdraft of 1,350 so where will you get this 1,350 pesos in from from a check of 6,547 pesos so, um, money, the money uh, of Morian had in her account before writing the check was 6,547. Subtract it with 1,350 pesos, so it becomes 5,197. So, that is the money in Morian's account before writing the check. Okay? So, Marian has only 5,197 pesos. But she wrote a check of 6,547. Then where will you get this overdraft? This 1,350 1, 1, pesos. So that's an overdraft. Okay? Continue. The sum of two numbers is... The sum of two numbers is... 8. So, A plus B equals 8. The difference between 18 and twice the first number is less than 4 times the second. What is the larger number? A little logic. The sum of two numbers is 8. Sum A plus B. The difference between um, 18 Difference so 18 minus 8 with the first number. So let let the first number be our a. Okay. So 8, 18, and twice the first number, and twice the first number is two less than four times the second. So this is an equation. 18. The difference between 18 and twice so it becomes 18 minus 2x 18 minus 2a rather because our first number is let a be or, or again let's use x let x be the first number so it becomes 18 minus 2x again 18 minus 2x why 18 y minus difference then y2 twice first number our first number is x that's why 18 minus 2x equals 2 less than 4 times the second okay so it becomes 4 let the second number be y so 4y minus 2 again 4y minus 2. So the entire equation will be 18 minus 2x equals 4y 
minus 2. So, what is the larger number? The answer there, if we find x and if we find y, um, we can get the larger number. Is it 2, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 11? Let's check. The answer is 4. It's 6. How? Let's see. Let x be the first number. Okay? Let x be the first number and 8 minus x be the second number. Why 8 minus x, diba? It Here, the first, the sum of two numbers is 8. So, therefore, x plus y equals 8. x plus y equals 8. How it becomes 8, 8 minus x? Because our y or the second number is equals to 8 minus x, diba? 8 plus y equals x. So, therefore, to get the second number, 8 minus y, uh, 8 minus x. 8 minus the first number. 8 minus first number to get the second number. So, 18 minus 2x equals 4. 4 times 8 minus x. 8 minus x is the second number. Minus 2. Okay, that's the equation. Again, 18 minus 2x equals 4 times the second number. The value of second number is 8 minus x. Minus 2. So, okay. 18x, 18 minus 2x equals so here 4 times 8 32 4 times negative x negative 4x so negative 2 let us now simplify further simplify further 32 combine numbers 32 minus 2 32 minus negative 2 or 13 minus 2 will give us 30 is why 30 here 32 minus 2 it's equal to 30 next here we will combine all with x so therefore it becomes 4x minus 2x how is it because our 4 here is negative 4x so transpose it together with y uh, together with 2x negative 4x together with 2x so it becomes from past from negative it becomes positive now because transpose um, 4x to the other side 4x together with 2x so it becomes 4x minus 2x equals 30 how come it becomes negative 18 because our 18 here is positive transpose together with 30 so it becomes 30 minus 18 from positive it becomes now negative 18 so simplify 4x minus 2x will give us 2x 30 minus 18 is equals to 12 again 4x minus 2x will give us 2x 30 minus 18 will give us 12 that is so how it was become x equals 12 x equals 6 the larger number simply divide both side by 2 divide both side by 2 so 2x divided by 2 will give us x 12 divided by 2 will give us 6 that's how simple it is again in order to get our x equals 6 divide both side by 2 to get our x 2x divided by 2 will give us x 12 divided by 2 will give us 6. So therefore, the larger number is 6.